As per the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of web developers is projected to grow by 8%, faster than the average for all occupations, which is 4%. So yes, there's job opportunities in this field. However, learning web development has never been an easy thing to do. That's why multiple people dropped it midway. Some of them were stuck in learning single topic for months, some were trying to learn things end to end, and some were finding it hard. Do you think I can crack every coding problem on lead code? Most of you say no and that's true. Still, I got into Oracle, RC Shaman currently working in Microsoft at quite decent salary. You know why? Because they don't hire an expert. They hire someone who knows enough to get their work done. So why to remain stuck in one topic for months? Why to learn end to end? We will focus only on the most used concepts that you need to learn to become job ready. I will cover what to learn, where to learn from and how much to learn so that you don't get stuck in rarely used concepts one after another. I will also answer to the most asked question, do you need coding to become a web developer? Here is the timeline of this video. Feel free to jump to the part you are interested in. Let's start. What is a front-end, back-end and full-stack web developer? Here is a login page of Netflix. Everything that the user can see on this website is called the front-end, like the Netflix text, background image, email and password text boxes, sign-in button and so on. The person who writes the code to create these visual elements is called a front-end developer. Now, once you enter your email and password and click on the sign-in button, your password is checked against the password stored in the Netflix database to verify if the right user is logged in. This is one functionality of the backend. This is something the user can't see. It happens behind the scene. The person who writes the code to handle such functionalities is called a backend developer. Full-stack developers do the job of both front-end and backend developers. You must know by now that web development has two parts, front-end development and back-end development. We will take both parts one by one. To start with front-end development, you need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. A website is a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In simple words, HTML provides the structure and content of a web page, such as the content you see here. CSS enhances its presentation by ensuring proper designing, positioning, and placements of home widgets and media options. JavaScript adds interactivity and dynamic behavior to the user interface. For example, when you click the home button, it navigates to the home page. This functionality is implemented using JavaScript. You will understand this in more detail as you start learning. For HTML, I highly recommend going through the HTML5 crash course for absolute beginners by Dipesh Malviya. It is the easiest tutorial ever for learning HTML. I am not saying much here, just read the comments on this video and you will see the quality of the content. For CSS, I recommend learning from W3 schools. It allows you to practice each concept while learning. See, CSS is not as simple as HTML. Your understanding will develop with time. But two things to keep in mind. Number one, don't get stuck here. Just learn up to CSS grade on W3 schools. Number two, there is a YouTube channel called Slaying the Dragon. They have explained a few important CSS topics like CSS Grid, CSS Flexbox, CSS Positions and so on. Watch their videos. They offer better explanations than W3 School or anyone else. For JavaScript, watch JavaScript tutorials for beginners by Telusco. Navin Reddy sir has taught it very well. Now that you know the basics, it's perfect time to boost your knowledge by building a few small projects. Project building not only speeds up your learning, but also gives you a sense of achievement. It's important because without it, you may lose motivation and leave the web development midway. Since you haven't built any project yet, your first time, a little guidance is helpful. Follow this YouTube playlist by Great Stick. It will teach you in detail how to create projects using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. With 30 project videos, you can create 3 to 5 projects of your choice and it won't take much of your time. Till here, we have learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript and created projects using them. We are two steps away from becoming a front-end developer. Let's move further. CSS Framework CSS files can become large and hard to maintain while working on big projects, leading to a phenomenon known as CSS blot. To avoid this, we use CSS frameworks. Frameworks are pre-written code that helps build application more quickly and easily. There is a long list of CSS frameworks. Each framework has its own pros and cons, and their selections depends on the project's requirements. Bootstrap and Telvin are two popular frameworks. For beginners, Bootstrap is generally easier to learn and get started with. To learn Bootstrap, you can refer to any of these free YouTube courses. Both are good courses. You can also refer to the well-written documentation by Bootstrap if you want more details 
or if you get stuck while making projects in future. All right, it's time to move on to a JavaScript framework. Again, we have multiple frameworks to choose from. We will go with the most popular and easy to learn one. React is widely used. To learn React, please refer to React Project Crash Course by Dipesh Malviya. It is an excellent tutorial for beginners where you will learn by building a project. Trust me, go for this video. Here we have reached the end of the learning part for the front-end development. Now build a couple of projects using React.js. There are over 10 project videos by Great Stake. Choose any one you like and build it by following along. This will be your first project. For the second project, you need to build it on your own. There are many project ideas available on the internet. I recommend building an Amazon clone. Focus on creating the front-end only. We will add functionality once we finish the back-end development. Don't make Instagram or Twitter clone. Stay away from social media. Anyways, you can build them too. Now you can apply for the front-end role and learn the back-end development parallelly if interested. If not, then directly jump to this timeline to know, do you need coding to become a web developer? Alright, let's learn backend development. For backend development, there are many languages such as Python, Java, JavaScript and more that can be used. Since we are on a track for the fastest way to learn web development, it's better not to waste time learning a new language. Let's use JavaScript, which we already learned during frontend development. Additionally, JavaScript is the most popular language according to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2024. Apart from JavaScript, we need to know three things here. Node.js, Express.js and a database. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript code. It's totally fine if you don't fully understand it yet. Express.js is a backend framework like we have React framework for frontend. As for the database, just understand that we need to store our website's data and for that we use a database. To learn these topics, watch Node.js and Express.js full course by FreeCodeCamp. It covers Node Fundamentals, Express.js, MongoDB and Mongoose library for database. In this course, you will create an application using MERN stake, which stands for MongoDB, Express.js, React.js and Node.js. Here comes to an end of learning backend development. Add backend functionality to your Amazon clone or any project you created and apply for the job. It's time to move on to the last part of this video. A most asked question, do you need coding to become a web developer? By coding, I mean practicing problems on platforms like lead code. For learning web development, you don't need to practice coding problems. Just knowing basic data structures and algorithms is enough. However, for job interviews, especially at tech giants, coding tests are a must. Even if you know web development, you won't get in without passing this test. So practice is essential. That said, many companies don't have such typical coding tests and you can apply there as well. That's it from my side. Please like, share and subscribe for more such amazing content. See you next time.